outline the three major trends affecting central cities in the United States. The first trend has been a decentralization of population, and particularly the middle class population out of the central cities into the suburbs. The second trend is the decentralization or out movement of manufacturing employment to the suburbs. And a third trend is the substitution of service jobs for manufacturing jobs as our economic base in the central cities. So I will go through each of these points in turn. Focused. Although the middle class population began to decentralize out of the central cities before World War II, the flood of movement didn't occur until after the war ended. due to market forces and government policy. First, an important reason for the decentralization of population was the deteriorating living conditions in our central cities. Oh, we're rusty! Mm -hmm. Woo! Traffic congestion, crowded living conditions, and pollution made many city neighborhoods unattractive and unhealthy living environments. Moreover, our environmental laws were lax and factories were often located next to residential neighborhoods. This further contributed to the middle class, the push of middle class families out of the city. In contrast, the suburbs promised cleaner, cooler air and open spaces. to move out of the city for decades, it was the rising incomes that occurred during and after World War II that made such a move possible. During the war, no. the economy reached full employment. Men and women alike went to work to support the war effort. wartime rationing, there were few consumer goods and few things for families to spend money on, so their savings accumulated. By the time the war mm -hmm. ended, and nice. savings, now we're getting the feel for it, on housing as well as other consumer goods. From 1940 to 1960, disposable family income increased by more than 50%. Disposable income is the money a household has to pay, has to spend after they pay their taxes. Visualize. They had income to buy automobiles. Mm -hmm. 
Automobile ownership expanded the distance that individuals could live from their place of work. So that owner, automobile ownership meant that a family could live in the suburbs and commute downtown to their place of work. With rising incomes, families also spent money on automobiles. Alright, three. During the war, men and women had to lay hard and chop. 